So I think what you know, oncologists are still thinking about genomic medicine maybe, where we say uh, BRAF mutation leads to giving what the BRAF drug or not, the BRAF inhibitor. But in immunology, we have to be a little thoughtful about the idea that the immune response keeps evolving. It's not that today the immune response is one way and tomorrow it's exactly the same way. That doesn't happen. The immune response is one way today and tomorrow it's different. And so we need to understand what it, that evolving immune response looks like and what that looks like in each patient's tumor to really come up with the best ways of how to treat that patient. And so we may not be able to say that uh, a PDL1 negative, for example, patient should not get an anti PD1 or anti PDL1 antibody because that may be um, withholding uh, potentially effective therapy from patients. And we can't allow that to happen because these therapies actually have very durable uh, clinical benefit that we've seen in other tumor types. And we don't want to do that with our patients with bladder cancer. We want to make sure that we give them the best possible treatment. So for oncologists, I think what they need to understand is that it's still under investigation. PDL1 is not the best biomarker and that we have to not think so much about which patients are we going to eliminate and not treat. We have to think about how can we treat all of our patients, and some patients may get a monotherapy, some patients may get combination therapies, but how can we treat all of our patients so that they can see a response um, with these treatments, not, you know, some patients just don't get the treatment at all. I don't, I don't think that's the way to move forward.